3 to the power of x squared, then divided by 9 to the power of x, is equal to 81. How should we solve it? Now, first, what should you do? By observation, take a look at the basis. 3, 9, here, this number is 81. So are there any relationships among them? Of course, there are. 9 is 3 squared, and 81 is 9 squared. So 9 is 3 squared. 81 is 9 squared, and 9 is 3 squared. So 81 is 3 squared, and then all squared. So it is 3 to the power of 4. For the observation, we have succeeded. And then substitute 9 as 3 squared, and this 81 as 3 to the power 4. The numerator is still 3 to the power of x to the power of 2. And the denominator, there's a changement. The base is not 9, it is 3 squared. And the exponent is still x. And the right hand side, 81, is 3 to the power 4. Now I have a question. This numerator is 3 to the power of x squared. This denominator is 3 to the power of 2, all to the power of x. Are there any differences? Of course, there are. This base is 3, not 3 to the power of x, or 3 to the power of 2. This base is 3 to the power of 2. The order for us to calculate the numerator is to calculate x to the power of 2 first, and then its the exponent of 3. But for the denominator, we have to calculate x first, and the base is 3 to the power of 2. Very good. I think you've understood. Now, how should you deal with this denominator? 3 to the power of 2 all to the power of x. Of course, you should use this formula. a to the power of m all to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. Of course, it is also equal to a to the power of n first with bracket and then all to the power of m. It's not necessary to write it down, really. So now, the numerator is still the numerator. 3 to the power of x squared. And the denominator is still the denominator. But it is not 3 squared all to the power of x anymore. It is... Use this formula. 3 to the power of m times n. 2 times x. 2x. And the right hand side, 81, is 3 to the power of 4. Now, I have to use another formula. This formula says a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. Why did I make a bracket? Because it's a formula. You don't have to write it down. You just have to memorize it. Of course, here also. Use this formula. This base is 3, and this base is 3 as well. m is x squared, and n is 2x. So it is equal to base 3 to the power of m minus n. We all have found it. The bases have the same value. If they are equal, n, the bases are also equal. Then the exponent, the exponents, they also have the same value. x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. How do we solve this quadratic equation? By factorizing. Of course, you can. 
and how should we factorize it? x squared minus 2x. Maybe you have found that. It is a section from x minus 1 or squared. Since x minus 1 or squared is x squared minus 2x plus 1. So we only lack this plus 1. Of course, we have minus 4. So we just plus 1 and then minus 5 is okay. Mm -hmm. x squared minus 2x plus 1. Minus 4, but we plus 1 and then minus 5. It is 0. Then we can use this formula. I think all of you have memorized a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So here is x minus 1 all squared and then minus 5. This 5, it can be written as square root of 5 all squared. And here is x minus 1 all squared. So x minus 1 all squared minus square root of 5 all squared, it is the sum of them, x minus 1 plus square root of 5, and then times the subtraction of them, x minus 1 minus square root of 5. So, the answers. The first solution, x1 is equal to 1 minus square root of 5. And the second solution is 1 plus square root of 5. Do you get them? And don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.